Well, all right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another Elevator Parts video. Today we're going to be building and wiring up this amazing vintage Westinghouse call station that Andrew gave me. So if we go ahead and take a quick look at the button, you can see here this thing is pretty sweet looking. We've got the, uh, the arrows here on either side, and we also have the black buttons in the middle, which look pretty awesome. The arrows have a neat little texture to them. You can see they have some, uh, some definition here. Both of them have that same kind of look to them. Overall, it's just a very nice and simple looking button. If we turn to the back, we can see there's not a whole lot to the plate. We've got the little color pieces down here. You can see the red one is cracked a little bit. Green one up here is in good shape. Two buttons are held on pretty simply. You can see here there's this little piece that's mounted to the button. There's a little... Oh. And each button is held in with a little pin. If you pull the pin out, you can then remove the actual button. Here's what the buttons themselves look like. Pretty simple, pretty solid pieces of plastic here. The little bracket has a square hole in the middle, so when you place the button in, it prevents it from turning. Now taking a look at the guts, the first thing you're gonna notice is we are missing lamp sockets here. And that's something we're gonna have to do in this video. We're gonna have to improvise some lamp sockets so we can put some bulbs in here. The contacts are quite simple. They have their own buttons underneath. The contacts are pretty simple. There's little buttons here on either side, and when you press them down, it presses that disc onto the three metal pins, which completes the circuit. Each one has that same setup. So right now our main focus is the gut, so we're gonna pull the plate off to the side, and we're gonna get started on putting together this circuit. So as I said before, we are missing lamp sockets for the guts. So I have two of these little sockets here which hold MB bulbs, and I have some nine volt MBs which we can use to light this up. You'll notice if I place the socket in there, it doesn't actually stay. There's a lot of room where it jiggles around. So what we're gonna need to do is find a way to mount these inside so that they stay in place. And also you may notice the wires, there's no wires on this thing. So I'm actually gonna have to pop the socket part out and re-add some more wires on here so we can hook it up. two repaired lamp sockets, we can now get started on mounting them into the base here. So I think I figured out how we're gonna mount these in place. If you notice closely, each of these lamp sockets have a little hole in them. And now normally what would happen is the original lamp socket would push in and a little pin would kind of latch in here. It's a little like uh, metal ball that latches into this hole. And if you wanted to remove the lamp socket, you'd have to push the little piece out and then you could remove it. So what I did is I threaded the hole where we can use a small screw here, and then we can tighten it enough where it'll push onto the socket and hold it in place. All right, so both of the bulbs are mounted into the back here. Next thing we need to do is wire it all together. So now we need to figure out how we're gonna attach this to this. Cause I mean, this is gonna be super cool when it's done. You can see it already looks pretty neat. So what I'm gonna do is just like the other Westinghouse buttons I put together, a nut and a bolt for each one. Because these holes here are actually threaded. So all we have to do is place our bolt through here and then a nut on the end. Don't wanna tighten that up too much just yet cause we'll do that at the end. Now that we've got these here, all we have to do is just line this up with the holes and tighten it up. All right, now I've attached the, uh, the back here. So what I'm gonna do is just tighten down the nut so it's nice and secure. You can see the back is now nice and solid. So now if we give the button a press, look at that. They light up very brightly and look super cool. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video about rebuilding and lighting up this awesome Westinghouse fixture. You can see it lights up the back as well. But this looks super cool now. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something from it. As always, I'm always looking for more elevator part video ideas. So stick them down below in the comments. And thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.